All right, I thought we'd do a sexy high fashion shoot while we were in the desert in Sedona, using nothing but two basic AD 200s. Kara has a really nice white Roberto Cavalli suit. Roberto Cavalli is an Italian designer and he is known for doing photo shoots in places like the desert southwest, which kind of inspired me to do this photo shoot. I like the contrast of high fashion with the rugged southwest. So to be a little bit artsy and sexy, we started with her wearing nothing but the jacket and some high heels. And I think it did turn out to be quite sexy. I love the whole combination of everything. There's something about a woman squatting that's just so sexy. And Kara is just a natural at this kind of stuff. It was a little bit of a challenge having a white suit against white clouds with blonde hair, but we were able to pull it off. I think these turned out spectacular. I'm using a Sony a7 III, and most of these shots are done with a 35 1.8. It's a small, lightweight lens, really good for traveling. I switched to a Zeiss 85 1.8. You just get a little bit more intimate. Look at the lighting. This is so cool. It's just two little AD 200s. These are not big professional strobes, just little tiny flashes. But the AD 200 is three times more powerful than a speed light, so it's a really good light to have when you're traveling and you want to be lightweight. But look at the lighting you can get with this. Look at this. This is really, it's like fantasy lighting. I just love the look of this. This is two AD 200s with the sun giving her some edge lighting also. The cool thing about the 85 is you can get a really shallow depth of field to where the foreground and the background is blurry and the whole focus is on the subject in the middle. Kara's a natural. She's a photographer's dream come true. Here's another Pam Anderson shot. So these are all the Zeiss 85 1.8. This is even 1.8, this is F2. And since I'm using lower powered flashes, I am not using high speed sync. So all these pictures are taken at 1 250th of a second. And I'm not just using the polarizing filter, but also a three or four stop ND filter. So you don't need big giant heavy flashes to do professional looking shoots. All right, so she put her pants on. This turned out really nice, really classy, I like this. Now the problem with using lights or flashes on an all white suit is it's really easy to get a blown out solid white shape. I wanted to feature the light only on her face and not the suit. So I pulled out my AD S3 beauty dish with a honeycomb grid. So light will only shine on her upper body and not her suit. I still have the second edge light lighting her up pretty harshly from the side because I wanted an edge light from both sides. But at least in the middle, you can see the suit. So it's a really fine balancing act between only lighting up her face and her hair and not the suit. But I think I was able to pull it off somewhat. And the clouds started getting bigger and bigger. So I was getting more white in the background <laughs> against the white suit. I wish it was more blue sky, but we didn't have that. That still turned out okay, I think. All right, and then we did some sitting down shots. This is what it looks like with no lights at all. It's just pretty dark and bleak, but it just looks cool for some reason. I don't know if it's just her or the hair or the white suit, but it just looks cool. I was messing around with the exposures, just seeing what I could get, and it's a little too bright. And again, it's a balancing act. And then when I started using lights, the suit got a little too white, but that's okay. I wanted to put the feature on just a piece of the body and the hair. It just stands out. I just like the contrast. I love contrast. Sure, I could have used raw and made the lights darker and all that, but it would have been a bland, boring looking picture. I like high contrast, that's just me. Now I got the levels of the suit dialed in and the background's kind of dark now, but I think it looks really cool. The whole foreground just pops out and her hair works really well with that suit. Just everything is just glowing, I just love it. And then when we were finished and she was just sitting there, I realized we were now at the opposite of how we started. She had pants on, but no jacket. I said, that's kind of cool. Let me just take some shots like this, what the hell? And I think they turn out kind of cool. And then she asked me to do a couple close-ups of her like this. Okay, sure. And that was our Roberto Cavalli shoot. I love this kind of stuff. I like any reason to do a photo shoot with Kara and any reason to make a video for you. I hope you enjoyed this. This is fun for me. I hope it's fun for you. Maybe a little educational, if nothing else, entertaining. Tell your friends about Marcus Picks. I'll see you in the next video.